Pacific Heritage Month, and we're recognizing the achievements of Latinos to Hawaii. The Hispanic Chamber of Commerce Hawaii is hosting the first Latino Business Expo next weekend. And here to tell us more is Maria Valentina Heberman from the Chamber, and Steve Chavez and uh, Carolina. They are the owners and the chefs of Steve's Taquitos. Welcome, guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. For us. So tell us about the Chamber's event, the Latin Business Expo. So next Saturday, um, the 7th of October, yeah. we are hosting the first 2023 annual Latin Biz event. And really what it's for is to share and to give a voice to the Latino-owned businesses in Hawaii. Did you know that in 2020, um, the census reported that there were about 1.4 million people in the state of Hawaii and Latinos were 11% of that population. That's a lot. That's 160,000 people mm -hmm. are Latinos in the state of Hawaii. Yeah. When we talk Latin yeah. though, it's a lot of countries, a yes. lot of cultures, not yes. just, you know, one culture. No. Yeah. So actually, the, I'm glad you brought that up. That entails um, Hispanic Heritage Month. And this month, we're celebrating those with um, Latin uh, descents that are American citizens. So that includes those from Spain, Mexico, the Caribe, Central and South America. Mm -hmm. So that's all of us. When we say Hispanic Heritage Month, that's all of us. We're including, uh, including all of us. And that's right. It's one yeah. of the fastest growing groups. Um, why mm -hmm. do you think it is? What's drawing business owners like yourselves over to Hawaii? Well, I realize prices are going up everywhere, mm -hmm. you know, especially California. So why not go to paradise? <laughs> You know, it's expensive here too, though. <laughs> we, uh, we're originally from Vegas. Yes. Um, moved out here about three years ago, and it's just the thing. You know, we're, if I'm gonna struggle anywhere, you might as well struggle in paradise. <laughs> and it's been amazing. It's been beautiful here. You know, love it. Never experienced Aloha until I got here, and it's been wonderful. Started the business, and things have been growing very greatly. I think growing our children here is very good environment mm -hmm. and tell us about uh, the kind of food you serve and what's kind of the most popular kind of dishes that you think people so are our, attaching themselves to one of to. our top ones right now is the ste uh, steak burrito for some reason the steak is really good <laughs> <laughs> yeah so my carne asada i marinate it you know do mm -hmm. it all myself all my meats are you know authentic so mm -hmm. i definitely try to put a taco with an extra twist on it yeah. you know so ah. that's the taquitos and we got taquitos, burritos, tortas, enchiladas. Oh, it sounds good. You should have brought some. <laughs> yeah, I should have said something. No, he doesn't. It's okay. The Next time. is just right, so. <laughs> no, but we are open late. We're um, usually. From 6 p.m. to yeah. 1 a.m. And where are you guys located? At the uh, Monarch Hotel, 44 New Street. Okay, wonderful. Yes. And these are just one of the examples of the vendors yes. at the expo. Yes, What correct. can we expect? Give us all the information. Okay, so 3 to 7 next Saturday at the Aloha Tower Marketplace, we're going to have over 30 different vendors from food vendors like Stevo Taquitos um, to service providers, all Latino-owned. And so it's really there to highlight and to support them. So we'll also have entertainment as well. We've got the Lowriders of Hawaii, the Ooh. toy Lowriders. The kids are going to have a competition. We have special guests, the Ballet Folkloria from Santa Maria, um, yeah. Arizona. They'll oh. be here on island. The girls with those beautiful dresses, yes. flowers in their hair, they'll be performing. Yeah. We've also got um, Latino dancers in paradise, the Mambo Vixens, local groups that teach um, Spanish um, influenced dances. So they'll be there to perform. Wonderful. And this is why we have the Terramana Tequila here. <laughs> we have Sponsored the rock. By the rock. <laughs> can't just really see it. Yes. <laughs> there he is. There he is, everybody. <laughs> um, we know that, you know, a tragedy happened recently mm. on Maui to our brothers and sisters. And so portions of the proceeds of the event are going to go to those in need on Maui. And so this section is sponsored by The Rock Terramana Tequila. Right here we have the three different kinds. We I'm have... going to have to try this later. Yes. <laughs> so it's reposado. Añejo and Blanco. And so tickets for this VIP section are $75. The Oyster Girls, the Oyster Shooter Girls will be in that section. And it's really an area for you to network, for our businesses to network, to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to own a business, but get to know those in your community. Yeah. All of and us And enjoy here. the food. That's, yeah, I, I mean, I'm just excited just to eat amazing <laughs> authentic. I'm from LA, so oh, yeah. no, I, I kind of oh, have, you know, kind of, <laughs> you know <laughs> the Mexican food, but you know, it's a little bit my so thing. So one thing but. about our spot, Okay. where we're at in front of the monarch we get to meet so many people every weekend yeah. mm -hmm. and it's amazing okay. and like i said the community is really growing and i i love community. it learn more about it online